Today we are visiting MoMA, the Museum of Modern Arts and here you can find all the modern artworks. The must-see artworks are from Picasso, Van Gogh, Monet, Deda, Manet and many more. A tip for when visiting this museum is to start from the fifth floor because that's where the most famous and important artworks are and work your way down. at Pablo Picasso and his night fishing at Antibes. Am I scared of heights? Probably. And here is Van Gogh. Obviously, because everyone is around it. <laughs> so these here are all from Picasso. This one is Henry Rousseau's The Dream. This one is interesting, a little abstract moment. I'll be willing to give up my TV, my Genesis, my the DJ. Food and drinks are not allowed in the museum, but however, they do have a cafeteria and a restaurant. This is the Starry Night by Vincent van Gogh and it is one of my favorite artworks because it represents how there's always light in the darkness. Of course that there are different interpretations but this one is my favorite. As you can see not all art is hanged on the wall. After quite some time we finally are done with the 5th floor and now we are going to the 4th floor. Not only are artworks hanged on the wall but helicopters as well. This is fascinating! This is Andy Warlock's Campbell Soup Cans and this work has 32 separate canvases. So basically in 1960s painting was an idea of repetition rather than something unique and he is stamping and painting by hand to make sure that all the paintings or canvases looked exactly alike. Initially in a rich art collector's home you would find something so ordinary as just soup cans. Do you recognize who is the painter of this self-portrait with cropped hair? Frida is wearing an oversized gray suit as a reference to Diego Rivera, the Mexican mural painter. She was married to him but were divorced a few months before she made this painting. And at the top there are words and musical notes from a popular Mexican folk song. It is basically from a song which tells about a story about how a man loved a woman just for her hair. And this painting is asking what is that we are loved for and at what cost. The best way to purchase tickets for the museum is online so that you do not have to wait in a line. There are many discounts as well as free admissions, especially on Friday nights. However, you do have to keep in mind that that's when a lot of visitors come and there will be longer lines. Film screenings are also free, but you will need to have a separate ticket for that. Besides the cafeteria and restaurant, they also have a museum store where you can find literally anything that you can think of. This is the garden of the museum and inside the museum has paintings while the garden has sculptures like this guy over here. 
And in my opinion, it's best to visit the museum during the spring because that is when the garden is blossoming.